Let me start the video off with some disclaimers again. We all make mistakes. I definitely will make mistakes gathering data. With that said, just so we don't destroy an entire video, let's consider any mistakes found, repair down in the comments. So if you find something, put it in the comments. I'll try to pin it if something's not already pinned. Um, we'll give it you know, a lot of attention. And hopefully uh, everyone who will come into the videos will know to read the comments. All right, let's move on. Shear wall. And I talked about the shear walls, and a couple of engineers pointed out they don't go through uh, the A floor. And I said, oh, really? I'm like, okay. So I did a video, and I said, look, I apologize for saying the shear wall is going through the A floor to everybody. Now I come across the plans, the CPC approved drawings, this number right here. And I'm looking at shear wall again. And this is your... Uh, Concrete transfer slab. That's the eighth floor. Uh, I know this. I know the blurred vision here is it's some drawings that I'm magnifying. It's not going to get any better than this. Um, that's the eighth floor. That's the transfer slab, and that's referred to as the shear wall, right here. But specifically, it says sh concrete shear wall. We have no concrete in there yet. Um, that during this collapse. This appears to be also the elevator, not not the uh, front, one of the elevators or, or the uh, stairwells. So this didn't fail, but nevertheless, that's a detail of concrete that, that has not been exposed to us at this point. With that said, isn't there another one then that should uh, that I that I pointed out should be going all the way through? Um, some people point out the shear wall is only in the concrete decking below, um, the uh, eighth below, eight, eighth through uh, downwards, and I'm showing that there's an elevator pit there, that it's showing if you use uh, this wall as concrete shear wall, it's going up to the roof line and to the uh, um, um, party area, I guess. So I want to add that in there, that there I'm finding shear wall going through and up to the roof. So I'm not asking you guys to eat crow or anything else, but uh if you see that otherwise, if you're not if you're not if you're not seeing this. So my previous video I talked about the shear wall going all the way up, where are they? I might have to go back to that. I don't have this this is the these are that those three positions there, so I still need to prove the the front ones, the ones in the front of the building going up. And that's number six, I believe. That I need to find and prove, but but I'm counting that there's a shear wall going up through the roof. So I'm not going to uh, not going to be backing down on that one at this point. And we come to another detail in the drawings, and here are the residents, and we're at the wall. We're at the uh, front of the building, and we, again we call out concrete shear wall again. The call out. There is the. It's on the second floor up now. So this is eighth. Now it's pointing at the ninth floor. So um, I would find it hard for you guys not to extrapolate that that goes all the way up to the roof line. And there's the concrete concrete transfer slab. Let's see if I can zoom in for you on that. Concrete shear wall. That'd be my thumbnail. Shear wall, elevator shaft, making it clear, elevator stair penthouse, shear wall. So that goes all the way up. There's no termination at the diaphragm, I mean at the, uh, at the uh, concrete transfer slab. That's going all the way up. Okay, so a couple of those steel members we had just flying off. Um, this might explain it. I don't know if it was at the... Uh, it's 17 floors, so this is 16, 17. On a 17th floor, that one steel that's sticking out, not having any, well, it doesn't explain it because it doesn't go anywhere else. But you can see it's just going to be a cantilever from uh, from inside here. And this is a penthouse, I believe. Uh, the 18th floor is a penthouse. No, the, I think it's the 17th floor and 18th floor is still something else. Um, storefront, window systems. Oh, they both are. So the penthouses in another location over here, penthouse residential. Here we go. 
Can't imagine a bar being over of it, over top of it. So let's spend a moment here. Here's 14th floor. This should be roughly where the pool is on the 14th floor. Let's call it this end here, pool. It's a storefront, if I'm right. It says residential right here, but I believe it's storefront, uh, penthouse residential. Um, this might be the other end. But the uh, this is the profile they're using. So now we can see uh, we're getting this um, weird details where they just uh, connect further back and a lot of cantilever. I talked about it in another video, and I think... Uh, Dale, you uh, commented on that about cantilever, and I did a joke about it. Remember cantilever or or, or or bait? Here, here it is. Here the detail about cantilever overhang. What's one? What's what? All right. So there's the uh, there you go. And so there's more of the detail. Angle to be determined. Okay. Let me finish surfing this. Let me back it out. So here's an overhang, um, uh, pre-manufactured aluminum suspended canopies. So there's your, there's your six foot, well it's greater than six foot, I don't know what, uh, GF, GFRC panel, okay, wow. So again, here we have concrete shear wall, I scroll to the far right, we have concrete shear wall, and it's well above the concrete transfer slab. So this was an intent was it appears to be have the concrete transfer concrete shear wall, but take a look at this on number floor sixteen, we have a concrete transfer slab. Floor sixteen was an, a concrete transfer slab. Another um, awesome setup that we're going to have to inspect on that. That's a major um, detail that we seem to be blowing, blowing out, missing. Um, interesting, how, how is the detail to get around the uh, shear wall? How are they going to tie that all in? That's, that's interesting. I wonder if they're post-tensioning in it or not. But nevertheless, um, that's number 16, um, floor 16. I definitely want to take a look at it. So 165, 10, 177, 11. So we've got, now we have a height, penthouse, top of the roof, 190. We have a measurement we can go from now. Elevation is 198, zero, 198 even. So we got 198 even. The roof, we're looking at 190. Now we're looking at 177, 13 feet uh, 178, call it. So 11 feet, etc. Um, so this is uh, this is this is interesting. All these variable heights. All these variable heights. Look at the inches at the end. You can just know it's variable then. Six, ten, eleven, zero, zero, uh, two, six, ten. Two, six, ten, ten. When oh, no, we're down and below the dot in there now, so we'll come back up. So we got uh, six, two, ten, six, two, ten. So we got a repeating six, two, ten, six, two, ten, and six, ten, eleven. Uh, zero zero. So this is eight feet. Is that right? Yeah. This is eight feet from there, top of that guy. That's their party area. And that's the top of that one. And they're uh, three inch thick blown insulation. Nevertheless, we got we got a transfer slab up here on sixteen. Let's see if we can find a transfer slab on sixteen. Hey. Is that the one? No, that was below. 14 was that one below it. It's above us. Huh. Transfer flat slab, was it even existing? Let's see the structure, how it's detailed. So this is the problem I have with these plans. See the double image? And now I can read it. It says parking level 5. And that's the shear wall in there. So here's shear wall again. This is shear wall, shear wall, shear wall. Supposed to be five of them. 
I can account for, I mean six, I can count for, show all six. I can count for five, one, which is number two, three, four, and six. I've yet to find number five inside here. I think this still says parking level, okay. See, I've got this double, so many things one of you guys, computer guys, told me what's probably going on. Um, you have to play with that. Parking level seven, and now we're at eight. So we're at the uh, transfer slab, and it's not ninth through 14th floor. So it just, it just, well, I guess it just jumped eight. That's seven, right? I guess it just jumped eight. So we go from seven to nine drawings. And now I can't identify the shear wall still being in there, but I think as part of the plans I just showed you, this is shear wall. It's supposed to be shear wall out here somewhere. Slide this back through seven. I think the face right here alongside of this uh, um, number two, sliding that straight down. There's another shear wall supposed to be present right about or right here. So that block out there. Now let, let's let me do something. So that's outside the elevator. It's that side of it. Let's see if that marries up with uh, anything else crossing into it. Um, elevators right here. H H H H. And so far, still fair game. The the flooring goes that direction, but it's still fair game. On where this would be. Oh, great. So then scrolling again. I guess I should pause it on you guys and just jump in. I'll do that. Okay, I'm having trouble, troubles reading the drawings. You can see all this overlap. So now I'm really having an issue. So I'm going to have to just default with the shear walls of the elevator shafts. Then I can't point to those uh, front and back ones as uh, shear walls and all the way up to the top roof until I can prove it, right? So at this point, I want to get good solid data or start gathering good solid data now, not just uh, um, ash seat uh, data. Now we're going to firm it up a lot better. So that's where we're going with that. If you guys can find that shear wall going up to the roof on the drawings, that'd be awesome. All right, but I'm still showing that that's fair game right here. I don't show a drawing detail for there, but... No, no plumbing or, or the kitchenware or anything else is blocking that that section here going up. And I'm already at the 15th floor. And sliding over. At this point, I can't be sure. That looks like that. that's a doorway. So, mm, that's a doorway. Can't have a doorway where a shear wall is supposed to be, can you? I mean, you could, but that would make it kind of a, a closet, wouldn't it? Nope. So, uh. I'm going to throw that one, shit can that one there in the front. And I'm sticking with the uh, three we discovered here. One, two, and three. And because of the, right now, because of the 16th floor showing a door appear apparently on an overlay below, I'm going to, to um, trash that. Trash that. Um, this is the line with there. One, two, and three. And I'm going to trash the shear wall in the very front. And we'll just keep, we'll just keep the shear wall. One, two, and three. At this point, going all the way up. Now let's keep on rolling. So we're looking at the uh, transfer slab, right? 16 is transfer slab. 16 is transfer slab. Sixteen. So we're looking at 16 right here. Floor framing. 16, same, same setup as 17. That's the layout. I'm in the structural plans. I'm going to pause and see if I can find. It's the transfer slab. Not maybe you guys can find it. Well, while I still search for the 16th floor transfer slab, I found some uh, crane details for you guys. The offsets is 12 foot, 1 eighth of an inch. 
it's 10 foot square each opening 10 foot square so if you want to figure out what you're looking at people ask then you know, close it up or turn it into an elevator uh, you know don't make fun of people like that what do they know um, could you turn that into an elevator though, if you think about it hmm 10 foot huh there's a She wall, she wall, she wall. <sighs> Drive me crazy trying to. See the detail? It looks like that, the she wall. Shaded in that capacity, not this. That looks like just block. I can't find number five. Pausing. Pausing. There's the eighth floor. All the beams uh, make it down to. There's the crane. And there's the layout. Can't quite make out the rest of this. So these are the columns up to the eighth floor. Seven. Six, five, the heights, the elevations off the street, uh, off the grade they choose. The ground floor, zero. The uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, not applicable. Number 10, 11, and the size reinforcement. This is what they look like depending on type C. Is that type D, A, B, this is the setup. So let's just take a look at A. That says number six vertical bars. This is just composed of number six size bars. Let's see. Same thing on the A floor. And all the way down to then you switch over on the fourth floor. They change the same configuration. They change it to an eight. Starting off on the ground floor with a nine. And elevates ground floor nine. Oh, this double vision thing is just beautiful. Oh, the round column. There's the round one. She's got 10, 11, 10 and 11s in her down on the uh, ground floor and parking garage. Uh, ground floor in um, intermediate parking, it says. Post tension slab. Let's find that damn transfer slab if we can. Number on 16. So I just wanted to give you guys a, this definition. You can go look it up yourself and try to figure it out. It, it's basically a base, a foundation that you can now start putting your materials on, your uh, new columns, and change your configuration if you like. And this pier is like 16, is what the intent is on 16 is to change the configuration of the column. So now we don't have a load path that's continuous past 16 because 16 is apparently the transfer slab, but I can't prove that yet, even though the drawings say transfer slab. Just wanted to give you, let's see if I can find you a better image than that. See a better image than that. More, okay. All right, transfer slabs, right there. So that's a transfer slab. You can change the configuration. Well, that's, they didn't do much, but right there, and there, it's almost acting like just a single beam. Ah, that's a terrible one. Um, transfer slab. Look at that thing. So now they can put the columns at different locations. And this slab basically acts like a foundation and transferring all the loads out to these columns. And they don't have to, well, they're designed to take the loads wh where they are. So 16 is like that. Hey, I want to check something here. I want to check this uh, mail I just got, came, just came in. Let me pause this.